let's have a look at question 30 in this video so to get a 90 percent confidence interval with a width of no more than a hundred dollars then we need the following sample size so what we're looking here is that we want to have a width max a hundred dollars so let's say that our width would be a hundred dollars at the most if the width is a hundred dollars that means that the margin of error the margin of error must be a half of it because the margin of error is the half of the width so that would be a hundred divided by two which is equal to 50. now what is the margin of error recall that we found out in the previous video we saw it let's just refresh our memory so the margin of error is equal to what was it the critical value times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of observations so let's try the general formula formula here to have it the margin of error is equal to the critical value z times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n now we're looking for n because we need to know what is the sample size that's going to give us the margin of error equal to 50 at a 90 percent confidence interval so the critical value z belongs to the 90 percent confidence interval which is equal to 1.645 the standard deviation it is a thousand we know that is given divided by the square root of n which we have to calculate so divided by the square root of n which we have to calculate meaning that if we solve the math over here by doing the cross product we'll find out that n is equal to 1082.4 1082.4 and in statistics whenever we find a value for the number of observations we have to round up because it doesn't make sense to have 1082.4 observations that will just estimate to 1083 observations to be more conservative more on the safe side so we round up and if we have a look at the answer key indeed it is 1083 so it is true and we are done